everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about training grip strength for the deadlift. So firstly, I'm going to discuss how I train grip strength for the deadlift. So what I do basically is um, during my warm-up sets, I train all my warm-up sets double overhand. And my last warm-up set, I'll be trying to set a rep PB for a certain rep range in the deadlift of double overhand. So both hands over the top, no hook grip, no mixed grip, nothing like that. And I'll do that every single deadlift session with an attempt of maxing out with a double overhand. So, say on my higher rep session, I train an undulating program. On my higher rep session, I'll um, try and set a six rep double overhand PR. On the middle session, four rep and then a two rep. And I'll be constantly trying to add weight to this, like all the time, really. Just constantly trying to PR it. Because I've noticed myself, my grip strength's lagging behind a little bit in the deadlift, so it's improving quite fast to keep up with that progression. So basically, what I do is I aim for that rep. So say I'm aiming for a six, I'll aim to get six reps with uh, like whatever weight. So say I'm doing 170 kilos, I'll try and get six reps. If I get five, I'll repeat the same weight until I get 170 to six. And then I'll only add 1.25 kilos to that until I get six again, and just do entirely 1.25 progressions until I get the reps. And so far, that's been working quite well. I've been able to keep up with the progression. So basically, what I would recommend is um, using your warm-up sets as a method to train your grip. So what you should do is try and work up to a difficult, not necessarily a PR set like I do in my training, but work up to a difficult set of double overhand reps in the deadlift. Like every session. Just use your warm-ups to hammer that max out with, like, Go heavy double overhand before you start your main work sets of mixed grip or hook grip, whichever you choose to use. Also, I'd like to add something that's helped me personally and myself a lot. The grip strength in the deadlift is performing like moderate repetitions. So not always like doing one one to five rep range, like sometimes even higher going eights and stuff like that. It really taxes the hell out of your grip. And that seems to work, that's, that seems to bring up my grip strength quite well as well. Also, another thing I'd recommend is try and use straps as little as possible, and that includes for back work. So you shouldn't be using straps for pull-ups, rows, that kind of thing. And even, like, if you're going to throw in some like, stiff-legged deadlifts, even you do them double overhand as well. Anything like, any type of deadlift variation, where you're limited what weight you can use, do double overhand, say like snatch grip deadlifts, double overhand that. You double overhand as much as you can, basically. and don't use straps or back work. Personally, I don't do any like grip grip specific stuff like using grippers or like doing long farms walks and stuff like that. I don't really find that I need it. My grip is probably a weakness in my deadlift. However, I believe the training I'm currently doing is bringing it up to par quite well. Like I've never missed a deadlift on grip, but I would just prefer it to be my grip to be better because I would feel it would improve my deadlift more. Um. Yeah, basically that's all for today, guys. If you've got any questions on deadlift grip strength or any other topic for that matter, please comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. If you like this video, don't forget to like. Please click subscribe. Cheers for watching, guys. Peace out. <laughs>